I'm from Zimbabwe originally and moved to Manchester. We got players from all over the world. Last year we had obviously Zimbabwean, South African, Pakistan, so everyone from all over the world, but at the end of the day it's about playing for the Red Rose. I've been lucky enough to play with some great players from lots of different countries and you find that different people from different backgrounds have uh, have a different view to you which you know you've probably not thought of before and actually can help you as a person and as a cricketer respect their views and respect their backgrounds and you know usually if you all get along and respect each other then you know you move in the right direction. One of the special things about cricket is that it, you, have, you, you meet a lot of different people, different cultures, um, different personalities and I think it's just about having respect and understanding people. I think it's really important that you go and introduce yourself, make them feel as comfortable as possible um, and then that allows them to express themselves as players and more importantly as people so if they feel comfortable then the best will come out of them so that's not just down to me, myself, it's to the rest of the teammates as well to buy into that and we do that well Lancashire. We stand together. We stand together. We stand together. For me personally I think um, the core that makes Manchester a great city are actually the people of Manchester. It's just so many people from so many different areas, so many cultures, so many nationalities um, and you know we, we all act as one. It doesn't matter where your parents are from or, or um, which area of Manchester you're from. You know we're all here, we're all in Manchester, we're all living in Manchester, we're all proud of Manchester. I just think it's impossible to tell where Manchester is going at the moment, uh, where, where we'll be in 5, 10, 15, 20 years. But one thing is for sure is we will be a leading city. It's irrelevant where you're from or who you are or what you do for a living. Um, yeah, Manchester, and that's that's what makes us different. That's what makes it stand out. We stand together. Manchester is multicultural. That is part of what makes Manchester the city that it is. Um, the very fact that we've got people from pretty much every different community and race around the world makes the city very special. And I think to lose that would take away from the very fabric of Manchester. It's absolutely imperative that right now everyone works. It's not easy. It's not easy to live next door to someone who doesn't look like you. I live on a street in Stockport and I was the first black person to move to that street and it, it took 10 years for me and my neighbours to have a civil conversation but you have to put the time and the effort and the work in to achieve a community cohesion. Increasingly we're realising that young people are a lot more tolerant than their parents and their grandparents which gives me a lot of hope for the future. The young people don't see these boundaries, they're, they're not as as caught up in what faith someone is or what colour someone is and we need to actually take some lessons from the way that young people interact with each other and learn from that. We stand together. Manchester's a great city. I mean, it's been a great city for hundreds of um, years. It's the um, original modern city, the city of so many firsts. And it's a really diverse city. It's a city made of immigrants. Jewish immigration, Asian immigration, Irish immigration, um, all sorts of people coming there. And it's what makes Manchester special, what makes Manchester different. And it's what makes Manchester interesting. The choice of food, the culture, the music. I mean, one of the things we're doing at the Manchester International Festival that I'm proud to chair is the Sacred, um, Sacred Sounds Choir, where women from six different faiths have come together to actually sing and sing together and sing again together for this festival. And it's those sorts of things that I think are great. And you can come to any pub in Manchester, you can go to any street corner and see people who've grown up with might be different colours or different castes or different religions, working, playing, getting there together. And that's what makes Manchester special. We stand together. I've lived in various areas of the city, so I've grew up in Rusholme and Fallowfield, and that's predominantly an Asian area. I grew up in North Manchester, which is predominantly white. And um, going to school in all the different communities, I've grew up with a different mix of friends, and I think it's really important for the younger generation to still have that. I think it's really important that we all sit together when the tensions are so high like now. We we'll talk about it being a kind of religious aspect to like terrorists and stuff like that. We're in schools that are educated, you know, in RE and stuff like that about the types of religions, but I don't think it's really brought out onto the streets. We don't really talk about it. Religion is kind of a bit of a taboo subject. Um, religion is something that's kind of private to each person, but I think it's something that needs to be discussed more. When we talk about the ignorance that comes from religion, it's coming from a lot of older people who have not really integrated with many other religions, so it's very important that we that we stay and kind of talk about it and discuss it more rather than such a private issue. We stand together.